How do we win an election? Well, obviously with votes. The ANC has been in power for 27 years because they've managed to get the majority of the votes for whatever reasons. And, you know, we can surmise and we can debate that question till the cows come home. But change is needed in this country. And there's a saying, if you do the same thing over and over, you can't expect a different result. So I'm going to start off by this message, what I'm going to say now is to current voters, people that vote year on, um, election after election. If you're voting for a party and they don't bring change, the change that you're voting for, then why are you going to vote for them? You know, um, we don't want to knock, well, I don't want to knock any other political group here. Uh, we don't need to. The UIM is going to be a party of difference. We are, we are going to deliver on our mandate from our, our supporters. And we are going to be a party of action. But in order for us to have a voice in governance, local governance, and eventually in the national setup in 224, we need seats. We need councillors, first of all, at local government. And in 224, we need members in the National Assembly. Out of those 400, we need to have as many as possible. And the only way that we can get that is if you, you, vote for us. If you vote for anybody else, you can't come to the UIM and say, there's, there's no water in my town, there's potholes, there's no refuse re removal, there's no clinic, there's no school. There's no job creation. There's too much crime. Um, the U UIM can only do something about it if we empower. Or if we have a big enough voice. And you need to put us there. We are not even in local governance. And we have South African public coming to us daily asking us to help them with issues that are being dealt with by people in governance. And it's so frustrating for us because we want to do so much more for South Africa, but our hands are tied. Our president writes letters, he makes live recordings, he, he takes on government, government and municipalities, but you know what? At the end of the day, we're not there. We, we're not in governance yet. We will be soon. Our application is in at the IEC and we are awaiting ratification. And the minute we get there, we will let South Africa know that the UIM is a bona fide political party. The day that happens, nothing's going to stop us. But we need support. Now, I want to share some interesting information, statistics with you in this session today. In South Africa, we have 27 million registered voters on the voters' roll. 27 million. 17 million vote. 10 million stay at home on election day. 10 million. The ANC got 10 million votes, but 10 million stayed at home. So the question I'm asking is, if you want the ANC out of power and you want change in this country, why are you staying at home? You cannot have change if you stay at home. And it's those people that say, well, you know, I'm not going to vote because what's the difference? Well, there's 10 million differences there. 10 million people that can make a difference. Now let me add another statistic. The electoral roll, the voters roll in South Africa, these are eligible voters, people that are eligible to vote. 35 million South Africans are eligible to vote. That would mean that we have at least 8 million South Africans that are not even on the voters roll. 8 million. 
that haven't even bothered to register. So effectively, out of 35 million eligible South Africans, we only have half of South Africa voting. 17 million out of 35 million. So there are two things that I want to ask you today as the UIM's national election coordinator. I want those South Africans that stay at home, those 10 million that are so despondent that they can't come out of their houses on election day, I want to say to you, give us one chance. Give us five years. You gave everybody else 27 years. And look what they did. They took our country backwards. Not for whites. Not for coloreds. Not for blacks. Not for Indians. For all of us. They took us all backwards. So what I'm asking you is. Come out. In October. If the elections are postponed. Which they might be. Doesn't matter what the date is. When the date comes. I'm asking those 10 million people that don't vote. Please. Make the effort. Come out and vote for the UIM. And give us the power and the opportunity to prove to South Africa and to show you that we want to bring change for all South Africans. For all South Africans. And to those 8 million that have never ever registered, I'm not judging you. I'm not saying that you know, you're irresponsible or you, you're apathetic or whatever. The reason doesn't matter. I'm asking you, to go out and register on the 31st of July and the 1st of August. To go out and register. In fact, you guys can even register now. I'm going to go through that with you in a short while. You can go and register on the IEC website. You can now go. There's a portal where you can go and register regardless of the election weekend. There's an online electronic registration where you can go and register even now you don't have to wait till the end of the month so those 8 million please go and register we need your votes those 10 million that don't vote there's 18 million of you 18 million of you are actually helping the ANC destroy this country because if you vote against the ANC the ANC only got 53.6 percent in the last local government election 53.6 percent if we get them below 50%, that means the collective opposition in this country would hold power. We would be able to tell the ANC, go and stand in the corner there and watch us govern this country and watch us take this country out of the hole that you have dug us in. We only need 4 or 5% and we would have the balance of power, but we want more than that. So, what I'm saying is, give us your vote, come out and vote on the, when the election time comes, go out and register. Um, I'm going to give you some more information quickly, which is uh, very important. The youth. There are so many youth that are despondent that they, you know, they, they're saying, why, why should I vote? They, uh, they don't even want to get involved. But I'm saying to the youth, make a difference. You are the future of this, of this country. And if you just look at the 10 to 19 year old age bracket in South Africa, 19% of South Africans are aged between 10 and 19. Another 19% are aged between 20 and 29. 59% of the population is aged below 29. These are people that have never um, experienced pre-94 South Africa. These are all people that have been born and coming to South Africa in the last three decades. 59% of this country. So come out and make a difference. Okay, um, I want to go through with you guys... In terms of the registration, where you can go and register now already, you go to vote 
www.elections.org.za Warren, if you can maybe put this on the group, type it up there. Vote.elections.org.za If you go to that link, and then you would be able to click on register to vote, enter your personal details, you will receive an OTP on your cell phone, laptop or iPad, and you then um, type that in, you then put in your uh, address, um, you submit and you'll be registered. Okay, so you can basically register on that link now already um, without having to wait till the end of the month. Okay, in 2016, only 61.5% of South Africans voted. That's of the entire electorate. 61.5% point five percent voted guys we need to come out. we need a change to south africa kwazulu natal your population is just over 11 million anybody here that's from kwazulu natal the anc got 57 percent in 2016 the ifp got 18 percent the da got 15 the EFF got 3%. 57% in KwaZulu-Natal. That means if the ANC loses or if we can get 8% of the vote, we will bring the ANC below 50% in KwaZulu-Natal, which means the collective opposition can govern KwaZulu-Natal and bring change there. Based on what we've seen in this week, I don't know, if I was living in KwaZulu-Natal, I certainly wouldn't want to vote for the ruling party. The president waited for days after the looting before he even came out and said anything. The minister of police, I think he was going to a Versace fashion show. Uh, with his guava-colored salmon pink hat and matching blazer. He doesn't look like a minister of police. He looks like a fashionista. He should be dressed like uh, someone that's going to war because KwaZulu-Natal was in a war this week. I don't know. Uh, was it a soap opera? Because he was dressed like he was going to the horse races or something. I don't know. And uh, if I was a KwaZulu-Natal voter, I would definitely not vote for the ruling party in October. I would vote for anybody but the ruling party. So as the UIM... I'm asking, I'm making an appeal today to all those in KwaZulu-Natal to please email me at brett at uimsa.org brett, B-R-E-T-T -T, at uimsa.org and please, if you want to stand in a ward in KwaZulu-Natal please send me your details, your name, your address, your ID number and please come and register with us, we need ward candidates in KwaZulu-Natal. Every week I'm going to focus on a specific metro. Next week will be Cape Town Metro. The week after will be Nelson Mandela Bay and so forth. But in KwaZulu-Natal, the UIM wants to come into local governments there. And we want to make a change. We want to make a difference. If the UIM was in local governance in KwaZulu-Natal, I'm pretty sure that we would have dealt with the rioting and the looting and the lawlessness in that province more effectively than what was dealt with this week. So to those people living in KwaZulu-Natal, our hearts go out to you. I have a friend living in KwaZulu-Natal, he tells me there's a shortage of food, there's a shortage of fuel, there's a shortage of gas. Um, we don't have that problem in the Western Cape. 
Um, uh, oh, oh, uh, the ANC don't rule here. Oh, interesting. The ANC don't govern in the Western Cape. And this morning, with my bulletproof, ve bulletproof vest on, my firearm, at half past five in the cold, I'm out there, and it's peaceful. South Africa could have been peaceful if it was governed properly. So, bring the UIM into all the corners of South Africa. We're not saying that we're going to solve the problems overnight. It's going to take time, but we need to start somewhere. We need to stop the rot. We need to stop the corruption. We need to stop the, the theft and the stealing. This country was the economic powerhouse of Africa. And look at it today. We can't even supply ourselves with electricity. We used to supply the rest of Africa. We had the best airline in Africa. Our airline has to be bailed out. Uh, it's, it's a joke. So, South Africans, let's unite, let's stay together. I have friends that say to me, Brett, you're very passionate about the UAM, you're very passionate about elections, uh, about changing this country, but every other party said the same thing. And I say to them, you know what? The UIM is different. The UIM will be different. All we're asking you is to give us one chance five years if after five years we haven't made a difference we haven't shown you you know what boot us but can i tell you something and i say this with confidence with humble confidence i believe in my heart of hearts that we will make a difference we're very passionate people within the uim we're the most demographic of all the political parties in south africa fact Go look at our National Executive Council. Look at our makeup. Go benchmark that against any other political party and tell me if I'm lying. So, the choice is yours, South Africa. You can vote for the party you've always voted for, but then don't expect change. Expect more of the same. Those of you that stay at home, if you do stay at home and you don't vote, don't complain. For those of you that uh, have never registered, don't complain. So, what do you want to do, South Africa? Do you want to continue to watch the stealing, the lies, the looting, the misappropriation of funds, the breaking down of our parastatals or do you want to bring change 